Hey there, uh, this time I just want to share with you guys a neat uh, thing you can do with Windows Media Player. But before going into that, um, I have to um, thank all of those who had watched PS2 games on um, SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, which I had recently uploaded. It has already 141 views, that was really cool. And um, a lot of um, comments and requests, um, including an ECW match and some cool entrance uh, themes. So I'll be making more videos about this particular game soon, so watch out for that. For the meantime, I'll be doing um, more tech tutorials or um, tech stuff for you guys out there so again thanks for the support to all my subscribers i appreciate the sub and if you have any question at all about my videos or other things related please do message me here on youtube okay so this is windows media player on windows xp let's say you have a video and you want to play it so basically it's in normal speed Just forward it for you. There we go. Okay, so you have here um, some settings in which you can control the speed of your video or of your audio. So I'll try the video first. So the thing that I had shown you is the normal um, speed. Now we go to fast. You go to play, go to play speed, and then fast. And play. And this is the slow um, tempo or speed. Well, as you can um, hear, uh, the pitch of the voice isn't changed. So that means um, we don't really get the chipmunk or the monster version of the song. But anyway, it's really cool that you can control such um, settings with Windows Media Player. If you use Windows Movie Maker, if I had done a video about that, you can actually make a chipmunk version or a monster version of your video or your audio. So let's um, try an audio. So I'll just go to my media library. So let's try a recent song. So it's the normal speed. You go to play, play speed, fast. And throw on what I wanted and go. Drink beer with the guys. And chase after girls. And this is slow. I can't get away. So, <laughs> basically, it's just um, controlling your speed using Windows Media Player without changing the pitch of the voices in such media. So, I think that's really cool.
There you go, so that's just a quick video about Windows Media Player and some cool features you could do with your media as you are playing them on Windows Media Player. So basically, um, this is just a quick video about that. So to all my subscribers, I really appreciate the sub. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have any requests or questions, just message me here on YouTube and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Also, check out my YouTube partners. Um, they're on my channel. They have some cool tutorials and reviews that you might find interesting. So, there you go. Um, again, thanks for watching this video and as always, just have fun. See you guys.